welcome back to Reaction Abstract Art, and today we're talking about coffee. Before we jump into that, I want to give a big shout out to Nikki in Minnesota. She was the winner of the Iridescent Medium contest. So congratulations, Nikki, and that painting will be on its way to you soon. All right, let's go out to the studio. So I'm sure you guys have noticed at the end of some of my painting demos, like Andromeda and Lycos Omega, I do some textured squares at the end of the video and uh, the paint has a real gritty texture to it and a lot of you have been asking me how exactly I achieve that texture in the paint and the answer is really simple. Coffee grounds. Uh, yeah, I just mix my paint with coffee grounds uh, to achieve that texture and I'm gonna do it for you and kind of talk you through it so you understand exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is just a small uh, blacked out canvas. It's got some a little bit of splatter spots on it because um, it was laying here on my table while I was doing other paintings. Um, but to mix the paint is super easy. I'm going to use green just because it'll show up good against the black. I just take some paint here Mix a handful of coffee grounds into it. Um, as far as getting the texture you want, you can use little coffee grounds, you can use a lot of coffee grounds. I like to use a lot of coffee grounds and give it a real, real gritty texture. Um, I just like the way it looks. really do this you don't necessarily have to make the tape squares uh, I like to do it I just like to give that kind of ordered effect to my otherwise random paintings and I'm not really going for perfect squares here And then you just take your paint with the coffee grounds mixed in and spread it over your taped off area or you can just uh, spread it into the painting however you like. I'm actually going to try that now. So stay tuned for a painting demo where I use the coffee grounds in the paint uh, in kind of a more chaotic manner than I usually do. And then you peel the tape off. And you get, now like I said, I wasn't too worried about doing perfect squares. But you get your perfect texture squares. It's that simple. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions, comments, or questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to check out all my social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, links are in the video description. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and then click the bell icon so you get a notification every time I upload a video, and I will talk to you guys later.